What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Roco Bros. I'm Ed. He's Dave. And today, we're doing Megalo Box Season 2, Episode 1. Nigga, we back. You thought that we would, you thought that Gearless Joe was gone, nigga. I ain't had no motherfucking gear, nigga. I'm just fighting niggas with hands, nigga. You know, he became the champion. He was on top. You know, I, if I'm being honest, he should have been, he should have been the champion. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because he was fighting niggas with mechanically enhanced yeah. arms. Yeah. That's, that's, that's punching this nigga in the face. He's like, catching, catching the beating, bro. He's catching the beating and, and, and ain't getting no real defense. I mean, it was a suicide mission, but that nigga was that good. But Yuri, I think the dude at the end, Yuri, I mean, the gear that he had, I mean, he would have been looking like Jax out here, bro. Just beating the shit out of this guy out of yeah, Joe. Right. But it's like, I don't, but it's like, he convinced him. was like, nah, bro. You got to see me hand to hand. For real hand to hand, bro. And it's like, can you beat me hand to hand? Because when you, when, you, when you were that good, it's like, all right, yeah. I could probably whoop his ass with this with these mechanical arms. But can I scrap with him for real? Without it, no, no. no. Gillis Jones, he flipped the whole game. He's like, niggas just had mechanically enhanced arms and just was like, these niggas paid all this money to watch some mechanical arms fight only to be like, nah, nigga, it's just boxing now. It's just hands. And I still Me, win. Me, you, in the ring. And I still won. I'm the champion. So it's like, bro, they didn't even have to show the final blow. It's like, it's not about that. It's about the journey of these two fighters and just understanding that in the ring. I wanted that final blow, man. I mean, we all did. We all <laughs> I did. needed to know. Them damn artsy motherfuckers with their damn <laughs> with they symbolism and shit. But I didn't we know they were coming it. out with the second season. So this is even better. I thought we just had to live with that. And live, just live with that like like in cash and sins. It's like when the ends hit you, it's like that's it. This that's it. We just gotta live with that. Yes. We had to live with that. We had more of Gearless Joe, the Nomad. Nope. I don't know what that means. Just a wandering boxing motherfucker. It's like I just go around. And I just go to the hood, the hood, <laughs> <in> his hands. <laughs> so <laughs> what's his name? Um, oh man, uh, Kimbo Slice. R.I.P. R.I.P. But Kimbo Slice, bro, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, like, and same with him, like, nah, man. Kimbo, Kimbo always wanted to work. He always wanted some hands. And he was never afraid of nobody. And that's, I mean, it take, it take real fucking heart and guts to step up up in that ring. Even more so when you really ain't been trained. And so, yeah. like, can't nobody, <laughs> can't nobody deny the heart of that man, Kimbo Slice. That was a real motherfucker. He made it, too. He did. He did make he it. Did make it. Nah, nah, like R.I.P. for real. Nah, like, man. Yeah, I guess on that note, man, like, Boy, hop into this, let's man. do this thing. I'm like, damn, we get emotional thinking yeah, about that. Yeah, man, he was out here. <laughs> he was. He was scrapping my fucking. He's scrapping. It didn't matter what you knew. It didn't matter. Are, are they gonna give us the bus? Yeah. 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 Oh shit. I love I love like the black and white yeah. the use of the black and white out here out here inspiring other motherfuckers, bro. I have no I have no gear, nigga. It was just me. I'm Joe. Oh, yeah. The hands beautifully, son. <laughs> Yeah, I, people might just be like, bro, we can't be, we can't even be out here with this gear no more. We gotta be out in these streets. And that's, and that's what, and that's what we, we, real niggas really be scrapping in that boxing ring. He be thinking, he be like, ah, uh, better off out here. <laughs> you gotta test yourself out here, bro. You do. Oh my. Yo. Welcome to the world. We got fun and games. <laughs> Maybe get some, some, some gear for your neck or something. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> you really, you, you, the, the fact that they don't have that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is oh there he all now! Ah, my hard and vet with the uh, beard and the scar. Slick on his eyes. Nah, he's clean, bro. Yeah, he's clean as fuck. That's his name now. I'm the Wanderer Nomad. 
Joe is gone. He retired in that ring. Now I'm the no man. No man. Is he? No mercy. Damn, he beat him. No mercy. Yeah, bitch. I'm a champion. Woo! Is it everybody got the same gear? Just. Uh, oh, nice fucking body shot. Damn, stepped on his. Damn. Oh, damn. Nah, bro. Listen, just stop the match. Just stop the match, bro. He's getting his ass. Oh, Damn. God. Damn. That's the ass, ass whooping. whooping. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Ref was talking about coming back. No, he like, should have. This blood is on his glove, nigga. Damn. End the fight. It's a regular day for me. There ain't no damn end the fight. Damn. I was like, this ain't even his blood, bro. Damn. <laughs> Damn. How hard you gotta punch a nigga for his blood to be on your glove? He might not be satisfied though. <laughs> nah, he don't look satisfied. That man looks angry. He wants to fight somebody else. With hands, for real hands. <laughs> <laughs> Just see a little kid on the street. Come on! Welcome to Damn. 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 That ain't That's my right. problem, That ain't bro. my problem. That ain't my problem. That ain't my problem. I ain't gonna lower myself. I can't fight somebody like Yuri and then lower myself, bro. I just can't take a fall after that, bro. I can't. I can't destroy what he built and what I built after what he built. <laughs> Do you see what I did? Do you see what I done? It's just mega make a little bison. Can't just it's say more than that, bro. It is more, more than, than that. that. And for like, I don't know. I'm. Damn. Staying in that motel. He's throwing up. This shit really remind me of Cowboy Bebop too. Damn, now you gotta go buy another one. Was he really there? Or no? no I, think was, I think it was a hallucination. <laughs> Look, his hands like no. <laughs> you wanna go back? <laughs> You should be hurt, boy. After taking some of these shots you took. I mean, <laughs> yes. So he was beaten by somebody, I think? It sounded like, he probably, it sounded like probably. Oh, that's a he damn. Went damn. Chance? Damn. Oh wow, so Gearless Joe, like he lost he lost an exhibition match. Nah, his, his body might through. just be free. Behold, it's <laughs> been too too long, nigga. No, you gotta hang him up. My hands. I still want to punch stuff. <laughs> hey, itch it. Itch it for that. <laughs> Still claim that victory, son. Yeah, 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 throw up still on his mustache. <laughs> so can't even can't even wipe it off, nigga. Just let it freeze and <laughs> <laughs> breath stinging and shit. All right, stop. <laughs> Those dresses. It sounds like he's, he's he's singing in Spanish. I'm sure. What are those dreads? <laughs> <laughs> He's Dominican. Or Puerto Rican. Or Cuban. Basically, Caribbean. 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 He looks like a badass. He do. Damn, that man got a whole full thing of some painkillers. He need them things too, probably. Hopefully. Hopefully he do. Oh no, are those no, tears? stop the crying. No. What? Stop! Damn, bro. What happened to you, Joe? I need to know. No, Joe. <laughs> GG had everybody listening, including yeah. myself. <laughs> no, I'm just like, <laughs> damn, man. This thing is really going in right now. I do love the Spanish guitar. 
Oh, if yeah. that is a I know. It, it, it is. I got to think that, that the acoustic guitar is spent. I just want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. <laughs> I mean, like, good. Yeah. Yes, he's actually a character. I wish Joe had some dreads. Huh? <laughs> I wish Joe had some dreads. <laughs> Shit, Joe wouldn't be high. Joe would have some dreads. He'd still be on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it do make it strong. Yeah, fast. <laughs> That's why I'm running faster with twists. Guess I'm not it, bro. Probably locked by it. <laughs> <laughs> now he picking up the painkillers up off the floor, my nigga. He wanted we haven't seen this nigga eat anything yet. Nah, except beer, bro. He's eating beer. He's <laughs> all he eat beer. It's all Just beer give him all the nutrients he needs. Damn. 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 Can't lose no more. I gotta, I gotta come back, go back to where I came from, bro. Scrap the, the top, it. nigga. The top. No, no, no. He, he gonna be a acknowledge me. This is the animal kingdom. It's kill and be killed. Eat or get ate. Fight or die. That's it. Can't be a wolf and be satisfied. You gotta be on the prowl, hungry, looking for victory. No, oh, 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 okay. I was like, I need to be it. It's a lot. I thought it was. I, 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 I was like, <laughs> nobody wants to fight him, bro. Yes, okay. And here is record. What is his record? <laughs> this nigga too good. He too good to be down here. He's high ranking, bro. He is the one. What are you going to do? Oh, that shit. They was talking about him. Oh, What are you going to do? Who is this man's voice? No, that man, whoever is Joe's voice, has a, has voiced some real niggas. I need to look that shit up. All out, fair fight, All bro. Out, fair fight. If you win, you win. If I lose, is. I lose. I ain't throwing no fights no more. That's how it should be. Is that the person he fight? She got Cause he looked like a real one! <laughs> real ass nigga. You don't fuck about Chief. Chief. So you might be making it. Uh, I don't know, maybe you could be. Oh damn, it was the guy playing the guy. No. Yeah, that's what I said. No, yeah. this, this nigga probably. He, oh, no. He's good. <laughs> he owned the way he stopped the punches! Ooh, Ooh he's strong with some. Oh, nice uppercut. Yeah. <laughs> Chief tried to hey. Chief tried to get in them briefs, goddamn. Hell uh, <laughs> focus, bro. What's up? <laughs> you think about the aftermatch, nigga. Hey. Yes, I'm still it's here. Body shots, boy. <laughs> body shots. Oh, 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 oh no, he he stepped on the Oh, damn. I ain't no rules down there. Ain't no rules. That's it's smart. Fair, but it's whatever, bro. It's a fight still. Just like what you were saying. Can you still beat me, though? Yeah. Can you still beat me, though? Nice. <laughs> Said it don't matter, it bro. Don't matter what you do. He ain't stressed, though. What the fuck? Oh, that. Duh. They throw you off. Is that a punch coming at you? Oh, that's, yeah, you. That's just round one. He ain't got nobody in his corner. He ain't got nobody to talk to this nigga. He talking to the crowd. He's chilling. He talking to the crowd. This nigga. Uh, Joe can't take a loss though. He can't. He can't. Fake. He can't take that. But his body's getting. Work. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he, what? Stop! Yeah. 
He still got his coach talking to him, though. He still maybe, remembered them lessons. Maybe that's the field and try and keep him out. I don't know. No, let that nigga in. He needs, he needs help. Yeah. <laughs> he barely holding on, bro. He's over the Oh, he's like, yo, he's like, no, this thing's not talking to he's me. He's switching gears. <laughs> <here. laughs> Why are you switching? Oh, oh, he turned with it. He, he, oh, no. Oh, stop. What? He knows who he is, though. He knows who he is. Oh, it's coming. Damn. Hey. Right on the jaw, my nigga. Stay up, Joe. Come on. Stay up, Joe. Damn. <laughs> Each damn me, son, go, yeah, Rocco. Oh, whoa, he about to throw the fight for him. Oh, and that's not gonna sit right with him, no. He gone. He not. Oh, he got it. Let's end this champion. He winded it up. No, oh, he switched yeah. stance. Oh, fate. No. Damn. No, it's, he blocking mm. everything you throw mm. at his ass. He He's took that. It. He took that. But is he letting them do it? Yeah. Oh. That's what we gotta find out. I don't. I don't think he's. He needs. Throw it up, Rukat. Oh. And is he gonna I go see. down? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So Joe might get over you and just beat the shit out of you, yeah. bro. Yeah. No, not this nigga on the sideline. Ha ha. I said a fair fight. Nozomi Dori niwa ikanemon sa. Not like not this. this. Oh, he might try to square with you after that. It's like, nah, <laughs> 10 rounds right now. Me and you. No, it's no. not enough. Ooh, mm -hmm. turn it back around. Yeah. Yeah. Meet me in the street, son. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Oh. You're ready to go. Damn. There. Done. Done. That's a kidney shot, son. That's a kidney shot. But that was his point the whole time. <laughs> Damn. Says he's foggy. I thought they were for pay. What are they? <laughs> what, are you, what are you taking, nigga? The fuck, fuck is in them damn pills? PCP. <laughs> Billy, no, like that hummingbird. Nah, he, he, I gotta go find him, bro. <laughs> Wherever you will go, I will follow. Right. Until that nigga acknowledges me. No. Stray dog, just dead. Nobody even acknowledging him. Damn, I wasn't expecting him to come back. Me neither. That's what I thought. Man, this music right now. Tells, uh, shit, I speak that song. Like, I just want to scrap. Yeah. I want somebody to scrap with me the way that Yuri scrapped with me. Damn. So, is it the pills that's causing him? To hallucinate and see old boy? I think that there's, I think it's a little bit of everything. I think it's like the way his life is. I think he's depressed. 
I don't think that he has direction. And I think that that this coach is a manifestation of of all of that. So I think that is because he got he died last last season. I, I think he did. I don't to be honest. I don't remember that much. <clears throat> I don't remember like what happened with the coach. He, I think he got got. I think he was supposed to throw a fight. And he didn't. He told him go ahead and do what you're gonna do. I'll be fine. And it wasn't fine. And it wasn't fine. Yeah. And and I think yeah he feels guilty about that. Like the person who brought you up and had faith in you. It's like, you know, for your dreams, he sacrificed himself. And now you're like, damn, I don't even know what to do. Mm. Like like you said, like, all right, Yuri's gone. And I lost to some scrub. I wouldn't call him scrub. But he lost to lost some dude in the exhibition. And I got hurt, bro. I got hurt. You fought your way to the top. But it, it, it's clearly because you weren't feeling as, as driven for that fight as you were with Yuri. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You literally had a goal to work towards and now it's like what where 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 who are you now yeah. that you don't have that goal to work towards? Mm-hmm. I think it's something that you see in a lot of fighters. I think that like when you see it like we see it in the UFC, we see it in boxing where guys will get to the top and then they will lose themselves at like you know I I spent my whole time like like going to the top now I can't or like I was at the top and I'm no longer at the top but I still keep fighting you got niggas like George Foreman who fought Muhammad Ali but still ended up fighting Evander Holyfield like decades later past the time they supposed to be in the ring only because they still love that fight they still love that crowd they still they fighters like that's what they do Somebody, <laughs> like, you know, you just can't. You just can't offer me up no, just any old body. They gotta, they gotta mean something. They gotta have some weight behind their name and be a challenge to me. Cause mm-hmm. if it's free, son, everybody gonna know. Everybody gonna see. Like when you, when you're talented or you're that good and you're elite, it's like real niggas know, bro. When you in that ring, it's like. It's like you immediately know the difference in precision and skill, bro. It's like no, this, this speed, this time. <laughs> it's a work, bro. Like, no, it's perfect. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's those little things, bro. It'd be the little things that some people may or may not see on the outside or that announcers may or may not be called or, or, or get the gist of. But it's like, I mean, sometimes, depending on who announcer is, but like, you know what I'm saying? There's just so many different fucking aspects of this shit, but it's like that driving force of why you're doing what you're doing. Like, he was, he was hungry, man. That motherfucker was hungry last season. Now, we're trying to figure out what exactly, what void is he trying to fill now? He's trying to find a talent. He found one, but old dude was cheating. And me and him was talking on camera. It's like, like it's like, bro, you you could be the type of motherfucker like like Joe. It's like or no man. It's like I don't give a fuck if you're cheating. Can I win? Regardless of the fact. Whatever you Test throw at me, can I still take that and can I still achieve victory? Like, like I was sitting here trapping with motherfuckers with no gear. You know what I'm saying? So to that point, it's, it could have been looked at as everybody was cheating. But I gave. I don't want no excuses. It's like not from me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and the dude was pretty much telling us like, "Hey, man, you. I, I actually might be laying on the ground if you wasn't handicapping yourself with this stuff with, this, with these painkillers." But the fact that he knows that he's handicapping himself and that he's performing less than, but still trying to. Like he's he feels some type of way about something enough to call and scribe what to do. Like you cheater. You cheater, how dare you? I it turned it back this. around on him because it's like you're mad at me for not giving you a fair fight, but you're taking these painkillers that is inhibiting you from giving me a fair fight. So why would I even like and if, if he knew that off top, there was no reason for him to take you seriously from the beginning because you weren't taking him seriously. Or you weren't taking yourself seriously. Something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're trying to find in there or in these rings or whatnot or with your fist but hopefully he hits a target somewhere you know like you could even look at the wolf as like the wolf was me that's the wolf that I was and they has been through a couple of battles but now like damn life got to this nigga bro you see this nigga dead on the side of the street and don't nobody give a fuck about it bro and I think they, that there's a difference between I don't and I, I could be wrong I think there's a difference between last season and this season because I want to say that there was like a dog or wolf that he was like like with or whatever that he encountered and like that dog went with him but like that wasn't the case here like like you said like that dog died so like now he has to move like I feel like it's another representation of himself it's like okay Joe 
that gearless Joe is now dead. So like, who are you now? Are you going to like, even if you become gearless Joe again, you're not going to be the same gearless Joe that you were before. You're going to be somebody new. You're going to be somebody different. And like, you know, that's, I mean, like that, like constantly reforming yourself, constantly reinventing yourself. That's how you stay on top, top as a fighter. But like also, even when you're going down through like the midst of this shit, like like you were saying, like you need somebody that that got a name behind them that you really that you really were willing to still go out there. It's why Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones and them niggas is fifty, damn near sixty years old, and it's like that's why this nigga Mike Tyson gonna fight Evander Holyfield again. <laughs> 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 and it, it, it is because like that shit don't never leave you when you're a fighter. That shit don't never come away from you. It's why you see fighters that fight way past their prime, like and they should retire, but they don't. Looking at you, Tyron Woodley. But it's like you know, it's like you know. But that's all these niggas know. That's all these niggas have. And like when you're on that upper echelon of shit. When you see a nigga that have that same type of shit, but like will throw fights and have that same type of shit, but don't really want to engage with you, the shit make you mad. It's like, it I want to you- make you engage with me. I want you. I want to make you acknowledge me. You know what I'm saying? But that that goes to to lighten the fire. Hopefully, underneath uh, Nomad or whoever he wants to be now. I mean, even to go underneath the name Nomad, it's like you went from Joe, like oh, I'm just a a regular guy to. Nigga, I, I'm just traveling from place to place now, bro. I don't even have a true home. Because he lost everything. By gaining everything, he lost everything in a sense. It's like the, the whole entourage of kids and, and people that was in his corner, it's it gone now. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, if, as long as we know Joe, like, old dude was in his corner, he's gone now. Ain't nobody out there trying to represent Joe. Hey, Joe, I know you're a former champion, but let me represent you for the... Nah, don't nobody... It's like he, he get just, no endorsements, ain't get no hoes. <laughs> but he didn't, he didn't know. Get, he didn't get nothing. He didn't get, it seems he didn't like get he didn't get no money either. The way he, he out here traveling and whatnot, but, I mean, he ain't he ain't stressed about that. He, he's not. He... I, this man just willing to do what it, it takes to go from place to place. Searching, crap, bro. Like he For don't. It, it's not in here no more. Like, it's like he has the soul of a fighter still in here, but like there's a void that's there, and he's going from place to place and find that shit. And it's like even when you're in the midst of that darkness and then that depression, it's like you don't found a nigga who could. That nigga don't want to engage. That shit is just like and you don't know how to you don't know how to get to the answers that you want. So you still hold on to the people from your past to try and open the light. Or provide some shine, some type of light on it is that what you want? Like so, like I think I don't know. He saw he saw like the uh, the, uh, the, the hummingbird. Yeah, like the hummingbird or something on a dude's pads. It, it's just like he just zoned out and saw a hummingbird or whatnot. We thought that he was about to get clocked with an uppercut, but I think that just more so representation of like you know the the animal form that his his new challenge is gonna take. Because I think was was Yuri the wolf. Like, I thought no, uh, Yuri was like the wolf of a pack, I believe, and like Joe was a stray dog or a stray wolf. Like mm-hmm. he was, that's like gotcha, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think in this term, that that hummingbird or something like that would be maybe like a representation of the new. But then, what what, what would the new animal of Joe be if that old old one dies? So we have to see a rebirth or something somewhere. Mm-hmm. We do, yeah. and I mean like, cause it's like we got a lot of some kind of like we got a lot in this episode but we also didn't get that much it was just really kind of like setting us into this world like we like we're just like damn this nigga joe is going through it yeah whatever's going on he's not the winner of that fight like he won that fight but it's like you won the fight but lost the war because this nigga yuri is just training other niggas to, to, to achieve great heights. It's like we left off the series <laughs> like this and they, they probably have brought you back in there and then they show you this man. He's like this, rock bottom, bro. <laughs> he made back to rock bottom. He was rock bottom, then got to the mountaintop and then went right back to the bottom and is trying to pick himself back up and take himself back to the top again. Unless he decides he's looking for a new top. Like what top would that be? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it would. 
would it be something in the underground or on the grand stage again? I don't think that it matters to him. But well, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, because like for the same reason that the 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 other professional boxer with the hummingbird is up there, it's like he's got his reasons. He's like, how could you as a professional boxer? I'm like, yeah, it's how, you know, I he was probably doing it longer than Joe was, but it was like. It's like, bro, I chose to come down here after not experiencing this before. You've been about, about this shit before. Then you became a, uh, a professional. Then you came back. Me, I was a professional, and then I went to this. So mm. I think that's more so where Joe is coming from. Like, It's like, it's like, bro, I did this before I became a professional for A, B, C, or D. Weekend. I was out of my control. I was like, you know, I just had, I'm just scrapping to eat. And now, I'm scrapping to do this. And, yeah, like, yeah. and now he, it's not even like I refuse to throw fights. I'll scrap, but I refuse to throw fights. I'll do this type of fighting as opposed to on the main stage, but I refuse to throw fights. This dude is like, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't. So I think he's more so trying to understand how do you go from from that to that? Because to Joe, that seems disrespectful because mm-hmm. he's got a respect to, a, a respect to the art form. But to this old head, he might have a, a different form of, of view or respect. The way that motherfucker was singing in that um. That no. bub or bar, he definitely knows oh, some he, shit, bro. Hey, he, he done seen some trouble, and nobody knows <laughs> what no, the trouble knows that he's seen. The trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. They like, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> and that's what we done got, man. That's what we done got, man. And, and, and. If this shit is anything like last season, we're in for a motherfucking treat and a and a dope, dope ass ride. Hell yeah, man! I can't see. We can't wait to see what happens next. That's probably we talked as long as we did about it. But hey, this, man, this mega little boxing man—they got a lot of symbolism and shit in there. Pull pull a lot of feelings out of you out of nowhere, bro. So it is what it is. But hey, man, uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for coming and check out uh, this this content that we're gonna be starting now. Uh, we on the road to a thousand subscribers and beyond. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Road and again, all the line, man. Yeah, man. No, for real. We we hey, we are we on this way. We stepping. We getting there. <laughs> and, and, and y'all go and, and, and you know y'all riding riding with us. And rocking with us from the beginning, man. We thank you for the ones who gonna jump. All right, because of this dope shit, man. We thank you too. And for the ones who don't vibe with it, well, hey, at least you're watching. <laughs> and hey, man, don't forget, we're all bros here at the Roco Bros. And until next time, y'all. Peace.